This time we're mapping out the storage system at ORS. These are my mates over at Smeaton Grange in southwestern Sydney. Now they've done loads of work for me in the past, building my Ranger setup and my Everest setup. And they build storage systems for vehicles, putting everything in its place, which in a vehicle that bounces around the tracks and you are eating out of, you are sleeping out of, that is incredibly important because it really makes that livability on the road so, so, so much better. Now, I've trusted them with my vehicles in the past and they haven't let me down, but this is a greater challenge than I have ever thrown them because you're dealing with a vehicle with open sides that's not sealed. So this is something new certainly for me and I don't even know if these guys have done this sort of build before. Maybe they have, but I certainly haven't seen it. And it's gonna be challenging. We're after positioning of electrical systems, of fridges, of water tanks, and of a whole bunch of other rather ridiculous accessories that I'm attempting to throw in the back of this rig. We'll see how they go. <laughs> <laughs> and if they're up for the challenge. And to help me out is a familiar face, Graham Jones from ORS. But today, he won't be boiling billies or cracking whips. Rather, he's going to be helping me solve my storage puzzle. Okay, Graham, mate, this is your canvas, my friend. <laughs> this is what you got to play with. Well, we've got a heap of room, heap of room. So um, I now I think we'd gather all your gear and we'll load it up. Tetris it in and uh, and just make it work. It is a big game of Tetris, isn't it? Mate? It is. <laughs> well, let's go and grab the gear. Now, a fridge isn't a big surprise for one of my builds, but there are some other things I'd like to keep secret for now. But don't worry, we'll lift the lid on them soon enough. Battery, yep. Nope, dirty secrets. Look at that, twin fans to keep it chilled. Now is it just me or a Graham and Ken looking a little perplexed? But I'm sure they've got a plan. What do you think you're gonna build the entire unit out of? Uh, we're gonna make the, the, the actual construction out of ply. Um, we will use a lightweight ply because we're cognizant of the weight issue. Uh, or trying to keep weight down, which is what we're doing all the time. But uh, that normally we would carpet that with a marine carpet. Most of our products are done that way. But given that this is uh, sitting out in the open, totally exposed to the dust, and um, I'm thinking this time we'll do a uh, overcoat with a Raptor liner. You know, a same the same product as going on the inside of your um, tub there. Fantastic, mate. Sounds good. That way I can, if I'm going to a show or something, I can give it a quick gurney and... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Graeme, mate, uh, I think I'm going to leave it in your capable hands now. We've got to a point where I guess I've got to throw it to you and uh, you can hook in. Yeah, look, really, uh, I, I don't think we've actually finalised the design yet, but I think the stage, uh, we're at a point now where we need to mock up what we think. We'll, we'll nut out whether we we can foresee any problems or experience any issues but I think we need to actually put something together now yeah yeah with given what we're uh, where we're at no worries mate well um, I'll leave it in your your very very capable hands thank you and well, I'll be on, I'll be on the blower good on you